Thanks, brother. The hell is that? Must be so. Cleaning up the Night Rider. Got some new stickers I'm gonna be popping on. Just got these in the mail and then ordered that one. Hakuna Miata. Not sure where I'm gonna put that. Also got the ridge strip here for the fender. I'm gonna take some poster board and kind of press on it to get the curve I need. And then I can make a template out of metal and then just flip it over and make the other side. And then it should just be as simple as tacking them together, extending the mount right here for where the fender holds on because I cut them so they'll only come down so far and then get those mounted up and then the front should be done hopefully the front doesn't rub so I don't have to cut the fender arch at all and I hit a pretty nasty pothole or I should say a pretty nasty speed bump across the middle of the road for no good goddamn reason Colorado Springs so I need to cut this a little better arch obviously got a way to do that take a marker and a piece of two by four, like a block, and you lay the marker on it, and then you slide the two by four around the tire. So that way you get an exact two by four width from the tire, or anything that's easy enough to slide around the tire like that will do the same thing. Just gives you a block to make a template. So I'm gonna have to cut that out. If I have time today, I will also use some of that poster board to make a fender lip. So we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, it should be pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna knock this stuff out. Should be pretty fun. Here we go. Also like to give a shout out to everybody who came and said hello at the 719 street scene meet last night, Friday night. Appreciate all you guys coming by and showing your support. It always makes me really happy to know that people actually like what I'm doing. It keeps me motivated to continue doing this and continue videotaping it. So shout out to you guys. So keep sharing and liking and subscribing and telling your friends and posting on Facebook and Instagram because otherwise nobody will know about this stuff. That's the only way is you guys are my advertising squad. So hashtag ad squad. So yeah, keep telling your friends, show my videos to people, send them out to everybody you know. I really appreciate it. The more subscribers we get, obviously, the better I can make the videos and then the more giveaways I can have and cool stuff you guys can get out of it. So subscribe and share on social media. Appreciate it. front fender welded on got all the connection welding done extended the mount strap here to hold it in place now I obviously need to flare or cut these fronts around the tire itself so that the tire doesn't grab onto it I'll probably end up making some flares like I'm gonna do for the rear but for the most part the hard parts done now I just need to do the other side and I know I'm not filming a lot but again I don't have anybody here to kind of film and it's just tedious welding really I mean there's nothing <coughs> really scientific or spectacular about what I'm doing. It's just filling the gaps. So I'm gonna take a little lunch break and uh, get back to the other side and get everything ready to rock and then trim. Okay, for a little trick here, if you go to Walmart in the sewing section, you can get one of these fabric tape measures. Makes life a lot easier for doing curves and radiuses. And what I've done is I found the bolt here, which is kind of in the center of the top, and I measured from there all the way down and marked nine inches so that I know that I've got the same distance on both sides. And then what I'm gonna do is take this piece of two by four and lay my marker right on top of it. And now that's gonna give me the same distance all the way around from the tire as I rotate around. And that way I know my radius is gonna be the same distance from the tire all the way around. So as you can see, it's further away here than it is here. So that's why the line's going down into the fender more. Then I can very easily hold this marker against the board and drag it around around the tire and I'll know that my marker is the same distance from the tire at all times. And that's where I'm gonna be cutting.
got this side all welded on. Looks pretty good. Kind of like it. I mean, it's art, so I guess it's subjective, but whatever. Now on to the other side. All right, boys and girls, there it is for now. Obviously, I'm constantly going to be working on it and changing it, but that's pretty much the wide body. So I'm going to add some mesh in and I think I'm going to be building a custom front bumper kind of bash bar just because the stock bumpers just aren't cutting it anymore. I already got rid of the rear bumper so definitely going to have to create something back there. A diffuser was kind of a under spoiler but it's going to change and it will constantly be updated. So be sure to tune in. Like if you liked. Subscribe if you want. And as always guys keep on modding.